How to develop strengths in employees. If you find that some of your employees are demonstrating strengths in certain areas, consider developing their potential. Building upon employee strengths is a smart investment as it will enhance productivity for your business. Start by assessing what your employees' strengths are, and move on to developing their strengths in a variety of ways. Determining employees' strengths. Consider what makes them stand out. You may not be able to list an employee's strength off the top of your head, even if you value the person. However, one way to start thinking about what an employee is best out is to consider how they distinguish themselves from their colleagues, and not necessarily in intentional ways. For instance, say your employee is Becky. When you start thinking about her, you think about how she is able to talk to anyone, colleague or customer. While you may not have perceived that as an asset at first, you should consider it a strength, as she is able to communicate well. Look at where an employee performs the best. You don't just have to use subjective analysis to determine an employee's strengths. You can also use the data to point where an employee does best. For instance, you may look at the numbers and notice that Deborah is the fastest at turning in her reports and always has the fewest errors. That could mean her strengths lie in written communication and synthesizing information. Another example is looking at who is able to make the most conversions in a company. That indicates a person who has good sales skills. Watch how employees pick up skills. Whether you are training employees yourself or others are doing it, notice which employees pick up which skills the fastest. Paying attention to how employees pick up skills tells you where they are strongest. For instance, one employee may not be great at the filing system, but maybe she's picked up how to edit the company's website with ease. Obviously, she's better at newer technology. It's also important to note what skills employees choose to pick up on their own. Often, that indicates a place where they have a strength or would like to create a strength. Either way, noticing which skills an employee is most interested in will give you a good idea of where they need encouragement. For instance, if a person consistently works on coding or the website, that person obviously is good at technology and wants to learn more about it. Use self-assessments. Your employees are, of course, going to have blind spots about themselves. Nonetheless, they should be able to help identify some of their own strengths. A good way to encourage that practice is to use a self-assessment form. You can base your own form off a form online or simply build one yourself. Basically, all you need is a list of skills and strengths with competency levels off to the side. You may also leave space for employees to write in strengths they believe they have. For Self-assessment does have it drawbacks, as obviously your employee is going to want to look as good as possible for you, the employer. That means that you have to emphasize that you are wanting to help develop what people are best at, not punish people for not having every skill. You can also have an area that lets employees establish what skills they enjoy the most. When an employee enjoys a particular area, she will likely be more receptive to learning more. 5. Ask for colleague evaluations. You don't see everything that goes on in the office. Your employees probably see much more of what goes on, so using peer assessments can help you to fill in the gaps. Make clear guidelines about who gets to review whom. Does the person who's being reviewed get to choose who reviews them? Will you make those designations? Does every person need to review the same number of people? All of these questions need to be answered as you set up a peer review system. For instance, if you let your employees choose, they will likely pick people who know them best. On the one hand, that means they'll know the person's strengths, but they also might paint the person too positively. On the other hand, if you choose, the reviewers may be more objective, but they may also not know the other employees' work as well. Focus on the positive. Identify what traits you most want to see in your employees, and use that as a basis for evaluation. 7. You can have reviewers rate others on competency levels for these traits, for instance. Provide a form. You need to create a specific way for employees to review each other. A simple form with a list of strengths and competencies will work, as long as you leave room for other feedback. 8. 